So zero trust security is a uh, concept and a framework that was created almost a decade ago. Okay. It, over the last seven, eight years, it was very slightly adopted. Okay. Primarily because people had invested so much in traditional cybersecurity infrastructures and cybersecurity uh, frameworks that for them, they wanted to make, get the most ROI from it. Right. But if I just take you back for a second and remind you about that perimeter I mentioned. Yeah. Traditional security was based on protecting the perimeter. Okay. Okay. Now, when the perimeter is everywhere, because data is flowing in and out constantly to remote users, cloud, um, mobile users, which is, of course, a massive evolution over the last decade, you now need to protect the data wherever it goes, however it's being accessed, whoever's using it. Okay. In order to do this specifically, right, you need to think about zero trust security. Mm -hmm. And what zero trust security does is it actually helps to protect the data, the networks, the applications, the cloud using a this framework that was created about a decade ago, right? And over the last two, three years, it's begun being implemented by organizations as well as cybersecurity developers mm -hmm. and, and vendors alike.